All right, guys, that was a fun one. That that draft went obscenely fast, um, in my opinion. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, I'm Russell. I'm RD, RD Monstars. Um, thanks so much for, for joining my league, the BB Big Baller Fantasy Basketball Association, uh, BB FBA. Um, cool. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little video and do some draft grades on the latest draft uh, down below on the screen. You can see uh, the lottery results for the first round. Um, thought it was a pretty fun draft. I uh, look forward to, you know, playing out the season. Um, these rankings are just upon my first glance at the teams. I haven't had all that much time to take a look. My brain is fried. I did a fantasy draft immediately after hours, so my brain is mush. Um, so let's jump right into it. I thought we could just go over and analyze some of the teams and uh, see what grades we can give out. All right, cool. All right. So let's start from the top. Jimmy had the first pick of the draft. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. JT Kawhi So Serious took Anthony Davis in the first. That was expected. I actually thought he was going to go with Giannis, but I think, I mean, you can't really go wrong with the first and second picks there. Um, yeah, good overall first pick. Uh, then he went with Drew Holiday in the second. Uh, I thought that was questionable. Let's just use the word questionable. Um, I thought there was a lot of better guys on the board. Um, I, If it was me, I would have probably went for Devin Booker just because of his age and potential. Uh, Drew Holiday kind of left me scratching my head there. Um, but, you know, let's see how the season plays out. So let's see Jimmy's team real quick. All right, so he's got Drew Holiday, Gary Harris, Joe Ingles, and the Davis, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it looks like a pretty, pretty solid team all around. My worry is who's this guy going to keep? Um, you know, I think this draft was super important because um, it essentially will affect your entire career uh, in this fantasy league as we you know pick keepers Anthony Davis is clearly gonna be his five-year keeper I would imagine but after that it becomes a little bit of a question mark you know maybe you keep Kevin Love depending on how his year goes um, Gary Harris is pretty young but you know outside of that um, yeah I'm not sure Jimmy really did many favors to you know his future but I think he is in a position to potentially, you know, win now. I mean, with Anthony Davis and Roto and with 11 teams, like, you can never, you know, count him out. Um, but, uh, so yeah, so I gave him, I gave Jimmy a B-. And the reason I gave him a B- minus was because I thought that Drew Holiday pick in the second was uh, not the wisest. I mean, you know, who knows. But uh, I was really scratching my head on that one. And... Um, I'm just, you know, I'm just curious how this franchise uh, evolves, you know, year to year. I feel like he's going to have to make some trades. Otherwise, you know, he's going to, you know, have a really interesting keeper situation moving forward. So I think that's something that he'll have to address. All right. So let's move on to the second pick. The second pick was Casey, CHLA Baked Show, the LA Baked Show. Cool. And so, I mean, this was a no brainer taking Giannis at number two. Um, in the second round, uh, he took Kyrie Irving, which solid pick all around. Let's see, third round, Devin Booker. I love that pick. Um, as you can tell, I'm really high on Devin Booker. Uh, let's see, where is the LA Baked Show? Uh, yeah, so he's starting Kyrie, Booker, Giannis. Ugh. And I think Mike Conley as your guard right there is really solid. Um, you know, he took a flyer, but he picked up Markin in pretty late, so that's pretty good. You know, and then at the very end, I noticed he got Michael Porter Jr. as a potential rising star. Also, I like the Hazonia pick really late in the draft. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, as far as I can tell, there's no glaring holes on his team. I thought he drafted really well. I gave the LA Big Show a solid A. 
Um, I, I really do like this team top to bottom. You know, I think his bench players are pretty strong. And, you know, he did take a couple risks, or he took a risk on Michael Porter Jr., which I thought was a smart one. Um, you know, why not with your last pick? Um, I was actually pissed because I couldn't get Michael Porter Jr. with my last pick. And so uh, I think more kudos to him. I got a solid A. Um, next, we have Kevin Lappin. Uh, where is he? Um, Kevin has yet to come up with a franchise name, so we're just going to call him Team Lappin. Uh, James Harden at the th- number, at the number three pick. Yep, yep, no surprise there. Uh, in the second round, he took Lamarcus Aldridge. Mm, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think he could have done better, but you know, whatever. Uh, solid pick, all nonetheless. Uh, let's take a look at his team. Okay, so off the top of my head, I imagine he'll keep Harden and probably Butler. I don't know if he'll end up keeping LaMarcus for next year. Jamal Murray's on his team. Bledsoe. Strong team. Um, You know, I like his bench players. Uh, Osman in particular. Rudy Gay. Um, Yeah, I mean, pretty solid team. Uh, I've played in Fantasy Leagues with Kevin before. Uh, he seems to be someone that knows what he's doing. Uh, I'm going to give Kevin an A. And so, not much else to say about that. I mean, I, I like the way his team looks. Um, let's see, who was next? Larry at number four, LB WizKids. LB WizKids. So, Larry took LeBron James at number four. Really good pick. Um, you know, you could argue that Cat or Kevin Durant before, but I mean, I'm a LeBron James fan. I mean, he had a great season last year, I think in year 14. I'm not sure what, what year he's in. Um, yeah, so solid pick. You know, I imagine Larry will keep LeBron for the duration of his career as a keeper, which is exciting. Um, new team. We don't really know how that's going to affect his stats from years past. Uh, he has a younger, faster team. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? Um, second round, Larry got John Wall, solid pick. You know, I think John Wall has a little chip on his shoulder entering the season. Uh, you know, with Beal on the up and up, I think he's got something to prove. Good pick, keeper worthy player. Um, you know, with John Wall, I worry about turnovers, but you know, elite assist numbers can definitely score points. Uh, Mar- Marcin Gortat is out of Washington, and I believe, you know, and that's just getting into some of the teamwork dynamic over there in Washington. But anyways, yeah, yeah, good good pick. Uh, let's take a look at his overall roster. Um, where... hmm. Solid guards. He's got Donovan Mitchell. Um, let's see. Uh, where I worry about his team is the big man, Hassan Whiteside. Uh We don't really know what his season outlook is like. Um, I mean, with LeBron on your team, he contributes in all categories. Um, Yeah, I mean, and Valencia Yunus, we always, you know, hope for that breakout season. I'm not sure if it's ever happened yet. Uh, But so the the big men is kind of where I worry. I'm looking at the rest of his team and... um, Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I think with LeBron and Whiteside, you'll get some good blocks. I, I don't know. So I gave I gave Larry a B plus. Um, I thought he could have done a little better on the big men, but you know, solid team all around, top to bottom. I see Lou Williams down there, and Gordon Hayward. You know, and then he also got some young guys. He got Kevin Knox, Miles Bridges. Um, Yeah. You know, all, overall good team. I like the Nerlens pick. Um, let's see. Next we have Donald DK Donpool Lake Show. Uh, Kevin Durant at number five. Seems sounds about right. Um, where did what did he do in the second round? He went with Chris Paul. <clears throat> mm, mm, all right. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, Chris Paul is obviously an elite point guard. Um, you know, I don't know if he's past his prime, but if he isn't, he's approaching that, um, part of his career. 
Uh, the only reason I don't like Chris Paul in the second round is just for health issues and age. Um, and this being a keeper league, you know, I, if it were me, I would have opted for, you know, someone I can invest in for the future. Um, taking a look at his team, uh, he drafted three of the starting five on the Warriors with Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and Draymond Green, all, you know, solid players. Uh, I'm not sure if that was, that would have been the strategy I went with. Uh, Miles Turner, you know, um, a lot of ho people hopeful uh, he'll have a breakout year. Um, he did take um, some young guys, so it, clearly he's looking, you know, to the future, hoping one of these guys pans out. I like the Mo Bamba pick. I do not like the Trey Young pick, but that's just because I think he's a fraud and will not be a good NBA player. But, you know, it's worth a flyer. Um, what worries me about this team is the point guard situation. Um if Chris Paul goes down, which you know he has been known to do in the last over the last few years, um, he does have some injury history. He is very very thin at the point guard position. Reggie Jackson um, and DJ Augustine, that's just not going to cut it. So I really worry. You know, can he compete this year? Uh, he has a good foundation. I mean, Kevin Durant is clearly keeper worthy. Um, you know, and then he has some decisions to make. Clay, Draymond, you know, Miles Turner maybe. You know, and then. Potential rising star in Mo Bamba, um, Marvin Bagley, or Trey Young. So I gave Donald. What did I get? Oh shit! I forgot to give him a grade. Um, you know, I I, I give him a C plus, um, or maybe just a solid C. Actually, no. Hold up. I I had to have given Donald a grade. Uh, oh, okay, C plus. Yeah. And so uh, yeah, mostly because I am wondering, can he compete this year? And I think he's kind of screwed at point guard if Chris Paul misses time, which it looks like. I mean, who, you know, if history's any indicator, he may miss some time. Um, okay, next we got Derek. Uh, Derek Lau. Derek was a referral. He knows Kevin. Um, let's see. Derek, 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 Derek. Had the sixth overall pick, Carl Anthony Towns. I think that's a very good pick at six. Uh, not an ideal draft position, in my opinion, going in the middle like that at six. So, I mean, for him to get Carl Anthony Towns, that's pretty good. Uh, let's just hope Jimmy Butler gets the hell out of there. Um, but, you know, Carl Cat's pretty young. That's a solid keeper right there. Um, where did he go in the second? Uh, Victor Oladipo, you know, super, I mean, awesome season last year. Let's hope he can keep it up. I don't know why he wouldn't be able to. Solid pick there. And third round, um, he went with DeMar DeRozan, you know, at that stage. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I'm just going to interrupt here, but the, the rankings on ESPN are so completely fucked. I was looking at the rankings the whole time during the draft, and they just did not align with any other rankings I had seen on the internet. Uh, but anyways, that was just a, a small aside, wondering if you guys noticed the same thing. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at this team. All right. Goran Dragic, JJ Redick, DeMar DeRozan, Millsap, Cat, Capella. Okay. Um, again, uh, I'd say the point guard situation worries me. Um, I don't think that Dragic, Chris Dunn, does he have any other point guards? Yeah, uh, so that worries me. JJ Redick as your starting point guard. Um, or a uh, shooting guard, excuse me. I mean, he does have, you know, he, uh, yeah, I mean, the guard situation isn't anything that I, that there's there's not a desirable guard situation in my mind here, but, uh, you know, he does have some solid players. Um, I gave Derek a C. Um, you know, Cat is a big come up, clearly. Um, so he'll, I imagine, you know, and Oladipo, oh, I'm dumb, okay. So he has Oladipo at the shooting guard. Uh, but yeah, still the point guard situation does worry me. Uh, I mean, Dragic is solid, but he's getting older, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, again, uh, I give him a C just mostly for the point guard situation. Um, but, you know, we'll, let's see what, you know, I might be eating my words if he ends up, you know, winning the league. So who knows? Um, next, we have me. And so uh, I can kind of give a little bit of insight into the mind, into my mind uh, during the draft. 
I couldn't really commit to what I wanted my strategy to be. I wanted to win now, but I really wanted to have strong building blocks for the future because I've seen how important you know, selecting keepers is, then I can't emphasize enough how important this draft is for the, the duration of your uh, franchise in this league. And so I really, really wanted to get young, solid keepers that could help me compete now, but also help me build towards the future. I was crossing my fingers that Jokic would fall to me at eight. I had a feeling he would because I kind of knew how the first five picks would go out. Um, so I'm really happy with my pick uh, at eight, Jokic. Uh, the only thing about Jokic is he just doesn't get many blocks. Um, but, you know, the guy can pass. Uh, yeah, super happy about him. They're, Denver, I believe, is going to be a playoff contender. So, you know, no rest. I mean, I think they're going to be pretty competitive. Um, so I like that pick at two. I was hoping, I mean, wishful thinking on my end. I really wanted Ben Simmons on the wraparound, but... You know, I'm dumb for even thinking that might be a possibility. Uh, so who did I? I took Paul George. Um, could I have done better? Uh, maybe. I don't know. But I think Paul George is in a good situation with Carmelo out of OKC. Westbrook injured to begin the season. Um, you know, so I do think we will see, um, you know, good production out of Paul George. Even when Westbrook comes back, I, I think... You know, it'll be a. Um, I think Paul George will is in for. I mean, I don't know. I I like the pick. Um, that's why I did made it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, on in the third round, I told myself like, there's no way I'm not getting Luka Doncic in this draft. And I figured if I waited another round or two, like he might be gone. So I I went in. Um, I wouldn't call it a reach, but I went and grabbed him. Um, you know, in the third round because, you know, if it pans out for him, he could be you know a elite keeper worthy guy for you know and i could potentially have him for his whole career so you know barring any you know glorious trade offers but um but yeah so i mean i couldn't really uh make a good decision you know i i feel like my team is competitive uh let's see you know i ended up with ricky rubio at my guard you know i think he is in a good situation in utah um jordan bell is going to be starting for the warriors um i don't think boogie's coming back anytime soon I felt like I was really lucky to get Gobert where I did. Um, you know, uh, let's see. I feel pretty good about my team. And then I, you know, just for a kind of insurance, I really wanted to grab Porzingis in case, you know, any of my potential keepers didn't pan out. Um, I think Porzingis is clearly keeper worthy. You know, he's going through an ACL tear, so he probably won't help me at all this season. Um wasn't able to grab a rising star i was pissed about that i wanted mo bamba uh couldn't get couldn't get him uh yeah i mean i like my team i gave myself a b because uh, i didn't want everyone to talk shit if i gave myself an a I, I also don't think i had an a worthy draft um but you know i'm content uh you know i'm hoping for big things i thought i got covington at a really great spot in the draft um I couldn't believe how low on the ESPN ranking Sergi Baca was. Uh, I, like I said, I had a draft at the end of, or at, right immediately after on Yahoo, and Sergi Baca was like easily 50 spots above in the Yahoo ranking. Um, anyways, so yeah, I gave myself a B. Who's next? AV, uh, Rune Sack Kings. Uh, let's see, let's see. AV Sack Kings. So. Uh, yeah, so he really, you know, his his team name is exactly as advertised. He missed the beginning of the draft, which actually probably was the best thing to happen for him because he ended up getting Westbrook at seven. You know, Westbrook's coming off an injury, but, you know, Westbrook's had injuries before and hasn't skipped a beat on uh, returning. I think that's a good pick for the first round. Um, Kyle Lowry at the second. That's not where I would take Kyle Lowry, but, Kyle, Kyle Lowry, but you know, not bad. Um, and considering how the rest of his draft went, you know, like I have to, you know, the, it's a good pick. Um, Kemba in the third. Okay, cool. Uh, really guard heavy there. Uh, okay, let's take a look. AV Sack Kings. Okay. Uh, I mean, clearly this guy, I mean, he, he's a Kings fan. I'm, I'm going to assume I haven't actually met Arun, um, and I hope he doesn't get mad after this analysis. But 
there's just simply too many kings on this team. Um, he missed a better part of the draft, and he was auto-drafted, which was, like I said, probably the best thing to happen to him. You know, with DeAndre and Dwight as your main starting centers, you know, you're looking at good big man numbers, but you can kiss your free throw percentage goodbye. Um, yeah, I, I mean, there's really no sugarcoating it. There's just too many kings on this team. Um, and, you know, I mean, everyone has their own strategies, but... Uh, I think that's a dangerous one, having those two big men as your um, starting centers. Uh, he does have Ennis Cantor, uh, you know, and he does have good percentages, but I don't know if that will be enough. You know, I don't know. I don't actually know uh, Cantor's free throw percentages, but yeah, free throw percentages are the mo- like the immediate red flag for me. Um, I gave Arun uh, an F <laughs> because not the way you want to start off in the inaugural draft. Um, you know, he does have Westbrook. I don't think all hope is lost. I think he can make a few trades to turn a season around. Maybe, you know, fire sell some assets to contenders midway through the season, tank a little bit, get some good draft picks in le- next year's lottery. But uh, I think this is the clear last place team uh, for this season. Um but again, yeah, not all hope is lost, you know, because I, you know, Jimmy is off the top of my mind is going to need keepers for next year. So, you know, maybe he can sell to some contenders, uh, accumulate some draft picks and then have a really strong draft, hopefully not draft any more Kings on his team and do well. But yeah, I think this this year is, uh, you know, a uh, rebuilding season, I, I, I guess we'll call it or a tanking season. Uh, OK, next we got Josh Bowman, JB. Okay, uh, yeah, Josh hasn't uh, named his team yet, so we're going to call him Team Bowman. Steph Curry at number nine, solid pick. Um, where do you go here? Andre Drummond. Uh, Drummond had a really great year last year, much improved in all categories. You know, the arrival of Blake Griffin doesn't help, but I don't think it will affect Drummond too much, as we saw um, at the end of last season. Uh, I don't know. I mean, is that early to take Drummond? I I think it is. I think he passed up on a lot of good guys. But, you know, it was smart of him to take a big after he drafted a point guard, so I give him credit on that. Um, you know, and Curry has elite free throw numbers, and Drummond doesn't, so I think it'll balance itself out. Let's see what he did in the third, fourth round. Um, Chris Middleton, cool. Um, and then DeAndre Aiden took a flyer on him, and I think that's a good time to take him. Let's see. Steph Curry, Zach Levine, Lonzo. Um, okay. I mean, this looks like a bal- it's a balanced team. I'm curious how they do this season. Steph Curry is clearly a keeper. You know, will Drummond be a keeper? Will Aiden, will, I'm guessing, will be a keeper if he pans out. Um, don't love the John Collins pick. I don't know when he took him, but I just, I'm not as high on John Collins as, you know, the rest of the NBA community or fantasy NBA community. Um, I don't remember. Let's see. I gave him a B minus. Um, yeah, I mean, I keeper situation might be an issue. Lonzo, you know, needs to improve those free, uh, field goal percentage numbers, but um do i have any notes nope uh yep b minus but i think that could be uh, that could potentially be a solid team okay shane sh optimist dime uh true to his team name he took a point guard in the first round damian lillard was literally uh, was lillard the ideal pick at that spot mm, i don't know I yeah I mean Lillard is in his prime he's an elite point guard consistently underrated uh always overlooked it's a solid pick for sure I'm curious if I would have taken him at 10 um I would have opted for Ben Simmons I think uh just because of the age and the potential um but you know I that can't knock the pick at all it's it's a good pick Embiid on the way on the wrap around uh Risky pick for sure, but if it pans out, then it's a great pick. Um, I don't know if I would have done it, but I mean, again, we have to see how it pans out. But you know, that Embiid is a potential like elite level keeper. You know, let's hope he plays more than you know 50, 60 games. 
Uh, it, it all depends. So uh, definitely, again, can't knock the pick. And so, but it, it definitely is one of the riskier picks in the second round. Um, maybe aside from Drew Holiday. Sorry, Jimmy, have to keep bringing that up. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lillard, Beal, Tatum, Kuzma, Adams, solid team. Uh, he took Cousins uh, late in the draft. I don't remember what round, but he did take Cousins. And, you know, uh, Lillard, yeah, he's going to have some decisions to make on who to keep because he does have some solid teams. Tatum's young, you know, had a great rookie season. Uh what did I give Shane? I gave Shane a B plus. Uh, pretty good team. I think he can compete this year. Um, yeah, I mean, looks good. Looks good. Oh, I think uh, so. The reason I didn't give Shane an A is because of his lack of. Uh, I mean, he has Embiid, who's one of the best big men in the league, but you know, health concerns are always there with him. And aside from Embiid, he's really putting a lot. You know, he really needs uh, Boogie to come back and have, you know, start producing right away. Steven Adams is solid, but I'm just worried about the rest of the, you know, uh, it seems pretty guard heavy. And so I worry if, I, I wonder if he'll be able to keep up with the rest of the league in terms of big man stats. And so that was the only reason, you know, it's a concern, but it's not a huge concern. So that's why I gave him a B plus and not an A, but good draft, good draft. Let's see. Next, we got uh, Michael at Zom My Zombie Apocalypse. MW Zombie Apocalypse. Um, first round took Kawhi, like that pick. Um, a little risky, I guess, but I mean, Kawhi was once, you know, top four or five fantasy guy. I think we will. S I mean, if you were to ask me my opinion, I think Kawhi will return to those elite numbers. I, I believe in him. I don't think this injury thing is that serious. I think he's, you know, he's in a contract year, so I think you were going to see a good season out of Kawhi, and, you know, Kawhi will be a keeper for years to come. Uh, he is getting older, but, I mean, I think he's in the prime of his career. Definitely a good keeper to have um, elite in steals. Um, really good first round pick. And second round, then he followed up with Ben Simmons. Love that pick. Um, you know, young point guard. Gonna have a better season, I imagine. Uh, yeah, needs to start hitting some threes, whatever. But you know, I think Simmons is uh, an excellent keeper. Let's see. <clears throat> CJ McCollum at the starting shooting guard. Okay, so uh, one pick that he made that was just spine tingling to me was taking Marc Gasol over Gobert. Um, Marc Gasol, ugh, I mean, Marc Gasol is Marc Gasol, but I really think there's a lot to be desired here in terms of big men. Um, Will Cauley-Stein as one of your starting big men, and then he has Greg Monroe at a backup, uh, Dwight Powell as well. Um, this team is going to be hurting, I think. Uh, well, Ben Simmons can get you rebounds. You know, Randall... You, uh, you know, a lot of the rankings have Randall, or at least anticipating Randall to have a big season in New Orleans. But yeah, this uh, the center situation is not ideal in my mind. Um, you know, with uh, yeah, I mean, I get I gave Michael a C um, just because I'm worried about his big man production. Uh, Collie Stein could have a breakout year, but you know. I, I would have liked to have seen... Well, I mean, really, it was taking Marc Gasol over uh, Rudy Gobert, which I thought was um, not right. <laughs> but overall, I mean, I, I think he has very solid keepers in Kawhi and Simmons. I'm going to assume that McCollum will be the third keeper there. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr. could take a step, you know. Um, and also... Depending on where Smith ends the season, might be able to keep him as a rising star. Um, don't love the Wiggins pick. Uh, but yeah, I mean, none, nothing terrible. I'm Again, I'm curious as to how he'll do this season. But I think that with, you know, elite keepers like Kawhi and Simmons, you know, I 
this is a very important draft, like I said, like probably the fifth, five times already. So I uh, can't give him too low of a grade there, but I, I see. And then I believe that is it. So in conclusion, these are the final grades. Uh, JT Kawhi So Serious with a B minus, CHLA Big Show with an A, Kevin uh, with an A, Larry with B plus, DK uh, Don with C plus, Derek C, AV, sorry, F. I gave myself a B, JV B minus, Shane B plus, um, and MWC. If I had to pick, I would say my predictions are, I think CH at uh, finishing first place. I'm going to have myself at second and uh, Jimmy or Kevin at third, I think. Uh, but those, those are my top three predictions. I'm cu very curious to hear your guys' predictions. And, um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts uh, on the league, my rankings. Um, you know, shit talking is always encouraged in this league. And, you know, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback as well. Uh, do you like this? This is my first attempt at a... This is my first attempt at a video like this. So, yeah, please let me know what you guys think. I can make more of these as during the season. And, yep, thanks for playing. I hope we all have fun, and I'll be in touch with all of you. All right, thanks so much. Bye.